112,000 ballots have gone out to voters and uh, a few days ago. So we're expecting for the ballots to return uh, to, from the voters. We, take a, we make our daily trek to the post office every day to get them. And depending on you know what day it is, if it's a Monday, it's going to be pretty heavy. If it's later in the week, it might not be so busy. But we'll have trays to pick up. And what we do with those first is we check to be sure that they have a signature on them. They have to have a signature on them. So if they don't have a signature, we very quickly take them out of the queue and we get a letter sent to the voter that uh, gives them the opportunity to sign the letter, return it to us, and then that allows us to count the ballot. So th that's actually a new provision in the law too now. Um, but then all of the good ballots, so to speak, are uh, processed through a scanning machine, which captures a signature off of the envelope and also captures the, the pertinent voter information. So then, therefore, it's merged with our voter registration system, which matches, it puts side by side the signature that's on the envelope to the signature that, they, that we have on file for them, for my staff member to compare side by side whether they're comparable or not. So the ones that are, that are comparable, no problem, they go through. The ones that are not, they're challenged. Uh, initially and they are vetted through by my supervisors, by my managers and by myself even to be sure that uh, we have a second, at least a second, third pair of eyes that are looking at them. And then from that stage then um, uh, uh, continuing on with those, the, uh, the voter would have the opportunity to come to our office to validate that that is their ballot or so. And then from there the ones that are all valid beginning 10 days before the election, then we start opening those ballots uh, uh, with some machines um, and we separate the ballot from the envelope so there's no more, no longer a connection with the voter's name on the ballot and the uh, uh, name on the envelope and the ballot itself. So therefore, uh, maintaining the confidentiality of the vote. And from that stage, my staff then unfolds them, looks for any marks on them that would make them uh, uncountable, for example. The machine won't be able to, to process them. Uh, we're looking for write-in uh, uh, um, candidates if, if there were certified write-ins and therefore that those have to be manually tallied. And then finally, they're put into the machine for the tabulation process, of course, which we don't do until after 8 p.m. on election night. And then they're stored. The ballots are stored in batches of 200. So. Uh, ballot inventory controls are very vital to the integrity of the election. We do everything we can if we have 50 ballots at the beginning of the process, we have 50 ballots at the end of the process. Uh, if we take four batches of 50, we should end up with 200 ballots in our final uh, uh, bundling of those ballots. And then those are all assigned by batch. They each have their own separate batch number. So if we ever have to go back to validating uh, a, a batch, we could do so. In fact, we do that during the uh, canvas of the vote. We do the 1% manual tally. So that is to validate that the ballot machines are counting accurately after the election. And if they're not, then we have to do something else to remedy that situation. But in this case, we validate. Uh, we are required to take a random selection of 1% of the precincts and of 1% of the batches of the vote by mail ballots. And so there we have a, a board manually tally the, the ballots to be sure uh, and then they check it against the, the machine count and see if there's any discrepancies. And if there are discrepancies, why are there not? What, why are they? Is there, a stray, is there a stray line going through another oval causing an overvote, for example? So we go through that whole process of validating uh, the count. And then after that, the ballots are stored for 22 months. They have to be stored for 22 months after the election. And so they're stored, they're all boxed up and palletized and um, stored for 22 months, at which time then they're destroyed.